Perfect. <laughs> Just keep it. Do another one. Okay. Okay. Right pack, you got your arms out of the block. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. You're hitting my elbow. Uh, we won't do that again. <laughs> There's a little display on the clock hanging from the wall that the temperature is 42 degrees. That's probably more up in the roof space, but down here it might be 39, but still. Piping hot. Hello. Welcome to the Kiwi Boys. If you've never seen us before, then welcome. If you have seen us before, welcome back. My name's Declan. I've been living on a sailboat for almost six years, along with my family, my parents, and my younger brother. Right now we're in Thailand. This living thing just go boop. I know, right? It's a cat. Like, yeah, you know, just it feels wrong to just be able to have so much power that you can just go mine. You know? That's so facts and cheer and factory. Kind of from the get go, I knew that today would be a little bit hectic, somewhat. Most days are hectic for us, to be honest. But uh, today, maybe slightly more so. We woke up in the morning and got ready to head in. We were going to go do Muay Thai go to customs and check out of Thailand for good, then go get a new surfboard and I think dad wanted some other bits and pieces. So when did that first one? Muay Thai session was excellent, as always, and I learned some uh, extra little tips from an Israeli guy that was there after the session, which was actually really good. After that, headed out to customs. That also went pretty smooth to be honest. The customs here are really easy. In Thailand and Malaysia I think we've had the best experience with customs officials. They're just super efficient and they don't mess you about. So yeah that was good. Uh, headed back, had lunch, dad fell asleep on a bench and then it was time to get into the real stuff for the day. So mum and I even hopped on one bike, dad and I on another and we went our separate ways. Dad and I went up to Decathlon picked up a brand new surfboard. The only problem was we were on a motorbike and we did not want to drive back on a motorbike with a surfboard. So dad ordered me a Bolt, which is kind of like Uber over here. Oh no, it is pretty much Uber over here. That was just bad right from the get-go. It put our location for pickup on the other side of the eight lane highway that we were standing next to. So, being the sharp-minded man that I am, I quickly ran with the board to a section of the highway where I could cross it, where there was no barrier. And so I stood there, picked my moment, and with a surfboard, ran across four lanes to the middle section of the highway, then waited again and ran across the other four lanes, back up the road to where the bolt was picking me up. Turns out the bolt wasn't big enough to take my surfboard. So we canceled that, I ran back down, across the four lanes with a surfboard and then across the other four lanes back up to dad, ordered another bolt, hopped in there with the surfboard this time and came back here to Nihan. Then it was on to my next obstacle which was getting back to the boat because I didn't have the dinghy but I did have a surfboard. So I got myself set up on the beach, had the surfboard on my lap got the fins in there, people walking past, I was like, yep, setting up my surfboard so I can paddle out to my boat. Screwed all the fins in, headed out to the beach, all the while I was in shirt and shorts with my bum bag, so I probably looked so weird walking fully clothed up into the water and then just paddling out. Some people were probably very confused watching me. Something good to come out of today, which I've wanted for a while, was another pair of Muay Thai pants. I think that these Muay Thai shorts say something like respect your teacher, something like that. So yeah, just another day in paradise, huh?
Bye bye. Well, there we go. That was my last session for, I'm going to say, quite a long time. It was very good. Learned a lot, actually. I learned a lot every time. But yeah, I'm going to miss this place. Is this enough food for a month or even just the passage? I can get us to Monday. <laughs> Alright, now Ivan and I have just been into town and gotten a whole bunch of cat food. Like about 15 kg, something crazy like that. Are you excited for Maldives, Ivan? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, actually, no. Are you just excited for the passage in general? Passage? Not super psyched, but. Yeah, this is what's on the here menu. Yes, I am. We're about to swim to the bottom and touch Thailand for one last time. Say our goodbyes. And that was the last we ever saw of them. Thailand. Oh. Thailand. Oh. Goodbye, Thailand. <laughs> Bringing a little bit of Thailand with us. The day has finally come and we are about to leave Thailand for good. We've been in Thailand for about a year actually, in and out of Thailand for a year. We first came here in March of 2023 and then since then we've kind of come and gone between here, Malaysia, even Indonesia, then back to here, then I left to Australia, now we're back here, and yeah, we're leaving Asia. We've been here for about a year and a half and we have enjoyed every moment of it. We got to see Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia. It's all been so, so cool. Asia is an amazing place. And if you're thinking of coming here, then do it, because it is cool. The whole world's cool. Well, that's that. We have just detached from Thailand. Here's to the next 15 days at sea. Wow, we're actually going. We're actually leaving, that's insane. Oh, God, I feel emotional. I've been here for so long. So long. This place is great, honestly. It's so good. And it is sad to leave, but... We're on this boat to see the world. And uh, Ivan pointed out to us a few times, you can't see the world if you stay in one place. But this is a nice place to stay. Goodbye, Asia.